guys and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Women and if you're still enjoying the series drop a like on the video that would be fantastic. Uh, if you could get 400 that would be even better. Now um, we're already on this screen basically because I wanted to make sure that we get the two games we're going to get done in relatively sharpish time uh, through this episode so it doesn't go on for like 25 minutes. So I've set up the team already basically. Baltam is back but he's only going to be on the bench today so that's going to be tough. We're going to have to set up with our attacking lineup because we're away at Monaco and we need a goal. In fact we need two goals really. One goal will, unless we win 1-0, one will, will not be enough. Um, so the plan is to go there, try and get the first goal. If we can, then we can slump back and try and win it 1-0. If they do score, we can then come at them again. Um, but it's it's going to be difficult, really. We've not exactly put ourselves in a good position, frankly. Uh, they're the favourites. They're the home team. It is going to be very, 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 very difficult. And I do worry about it. It's, I cannot believe that we managed to screw up the first leg. It Just as we did against PSG, we, the home leg was just not very good. Uh, we just weren't very good on the night, and that is a real shame. No question of the day today, of course, because we've got to get straight into this. But we need a big performance from someone today. Because um, we've beaten Monaco before you know, in the Europa League final. But what we haven't done is beating them on their own ground. And that's essentially what is being asked of us here. Unless we can get a two-all draw, Monaco have started strongly with, they've had a couple of shots. We're going to just have to feel our way into this game, basically. If they were to score, is that Eric Dier? Uh, Eric Dier? Which is interesting. Oh, crap on a cracker. Salto straight through. Monaco actually had, um, is it Andy Robertson? who used to play for Hull City tonight, was actually playing for Monaco a couple of seasons ago. Don't know if he's still there or not. I still can bring it away for Wimbledon now. We've got players coming in support. An absolutely horrific first touch, and Cristante's just nutted that back for Garfrascoli. Monaco know that a 0-0 draw is enough to see them through, so we have to be careful here. We really, really do. They've not had a lot of possession so far, but that means nothing in this in the grand scheme of things. Right, okay. They're having a lot of shots so far, and they're not from range either. Let's just see where the play is going. They're getting a lot of success down there. I I'm tempted to try and switch to the other tactic already, because I just don't see this one working at the moment. It, it just doesn't look like we're going to get any joy at this point. And I want to make sure that we get ahead of the curve before they score a goal. If we can find ourselves... Oh, Coman. Oh, please, not another free kick goal. Right, good clearance. But Nag, Gomez, don't head it. There's no need to head that there. Just bring it down and have a shot. Oh, not a shot, a clearance. Monaco have started very, very well. They're playing like we did, um, essentially, in the first leg. The difference is that in that leg, they got a goal. And we, yeah, only managed to get an equaliser rather than actually going on and winning the game. And that could be a real problem for us here because we need to go and win or get a two-all draw or something. Or a one-all draw would obviously take it to extra time or whatnot. Salvi, he's going to shoot because he's an idiot. <sighs> Salvi, Salvi, Salvi. I hate the way they shoot from those angles. It really does bug me. But there's nothing you can do to stop them, I've found. The right-hand side is probably looking to be the most fruitful, so let's just go for it. The fact is, as things stand, it's still nil-nil, and that's what matters for me at the moment. Anyway, Farmer looks long. Salto gets a good touch out of his feet, but we've... Oh, Coman, this is this is my worry. Coman gets a good cross in and Salto scores, basically. Like that. And now we're trailing 2-1 on aggregate and we have to go out and score. I, I don't think we're going to go through. I think we're going to go out again, guys. And these bloody French teams. It just... The thing is, though, against PSG, we did very well to get a 3-0 draw against them. And then we did really well in the home leg and got mugged off. And it's been very, well, not been very similar to that. But against in the first leg against Monaco, we were the better side and we didn't get the win and we need to take our chances. And today has just not done that. We're probably going to have to go for it. I, I don't see any other option in this game other than to try and go for this game. We, we're fresh off the back of a good win in the League Cup final as well. Hmm. I mean, Monaco are just the better team today. They're just playing better football. They're creating shots. They're creating chances. Our defenders are not looking particularly sure of themselves either. Second half, we're going to have to Try and find a way through them. Look at the crosses. I don't know how to stop that, though, because if we go forward... Who... Mm, okay. Okay. But we've got to remember to go back and actually do a team talk. Uh, but let's do the team talk now, while we remember, because otherwise we're not going to get much drummed into them. Right, show me something else. Go out there and actually do something. That's all I'm interested in. So, things I could do to try and stop the crosses. Maybe looking for the overlap or push an extra player forward. Uh, maybe exploiting both flanks, because why the hell not? Pushing the tempo to try and create some chances, maybe. We're going to push up, do that. We're going to close down a bit more. We're going to do all the things, basically. And mm, I don't know. I'm really not sure what else we can do at this point. And sometimes, you know, that's okay. Sometimes you just don't know. I don't pretend to know all the time what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'm just going to have to do what I think's best. And this is what I think, basically. And I'm sure the hindsight brigade will be, well, you should have done this. Great. But that's that's not useful. Um... But then again, it is still useful because actually it's useful for future reference, you know? So that, don't actually let that be said. Um, let's see. Fabio's having an absolutely shocking time of it so far. We're doing nothing in this game at all. Uh, 
I, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> just honestly, I just don't. Uh, Fabio, he's not having the best game. He, or should I put him up front and put... Because um, he's looking motivated, whereas Peter's looking frustrated. So maybe getting Kenneth in there. Screw it, let's get Baltam in as well. We may as well at this point. Nobody's really doing anything constructive, so we might as well get these guys in. Because uh, that's all we're really aiming for this year, is to try and get somewhere in the Champions League. If we can just get an equaliser here, it would be really against the run of play and thoroughly undeserved, unless we suddenly pull something out of the bag here. But we're not creating enough. Um, let it get to 70 minutes and I'll take another look at the Prozone stats, but I just don't know what to suggest at this point. Eric Dyer's injured for Monaco. They're playing very deep. They're playing very... Should we try and stretch the play a little bit? Push the tempo high? Stretch that play out a little bit? Um, dribble a bit less? Maybe pass the ball around a bit more? Uh, I mean... A lot of what we're doing is coming from this right-hand side, so maybe we should... But then the only cross we've completed has come from the left. It is... I feel like we're going to go out on a wimp where we'll have like eight shots, one on target. That's how I see this game going in the end. Because we're going to go attacking because what other choice have we got at this point? I don't want to be more expressive because I feel like that can sometimes just mean that we're not going to create a freedom. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't think we're going to do anything in this game. I feel like this is going to finish in 1-0 Monaco and that'll be it basically and we're out again. That'll be very, very frustrating but I see no other... Oh, hello. Right, okay. We're actually having a few chances and... Sh Lumped over the top goal. Oh, no. Right, Sam Farmer's in there. Good stuff. Cleared up to Fabio. Drops it off for Kenneth. We need the players getting forward now. Fabio, he's got support on the right with both of the wing. Salvi's ball. Baltan can't get it. Komen. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay. Dragowski. I thought there was a chance coming for us there, but it, apparently that isn't the case. Go on, win that. Sam Farmer's never going to win that, is he? I don't know why the defender didn't come, really. Uh, Salto. He'll probably dribble through and smash it in the top court. Oh, my days. Well, there you go. Um, a lesson on how to not defend there. Just, uh, yeah, just have a little have a little go. Just have a little walk all the way through. Golf for Scully. Golf for Scully. Golf for Scully can do now about it, as you would imagine. But what was that for defending? Considering we're set to close down more. Uh, sorry, close down much more. They just stood and let him run right through them. Uh, we've just not turned up today. Again. And we're out of the Champions League for the second year in a row at the same bloody game. At the same stage. Oh, that's a... Well, it's not a joke. Monaco have played so much better than us and they thoroughly deserve the win. We just should have done the job in the first leg. Shocking performance from whoever the hell let that one through, though, I have to say. Farmer's still been great. Nobody was good in that game apart from Sam Farmer. Far from pleased. What an absolutely ridiculous piece of terrible football. But that's just how it is. Next year, we're going to have to absolutely concentrate the crap out of the Champions League because I'm just really struggling with it. It's, it's odd. But there you go. Sometimes you've got to just work your way into these things. So, enjoy the highlights of the games that we're about to play, and I'll join you guys in a sec for another live con, which will probably be the Villa game. So, uh, see you guys in a sec. Goes to Fabio, strikes it, goal. Everton nil, Wimbledon won. We've been really, really good at getting shots on target today, but Fabio finally finds the net for his 21st goal of the season. Farmer, Fabio turns, Peter's in. That is a lovely bit of football, and Peter gets the wrapping up there with his 10th of the year. I need to see a bit more from him, though, as we may have to look elsewhere in the summer. Farmer, about time slowly making his way across, and he could get involved in the play quite nicely here. Fabio, Peter turns, Peter scores again. There we go, Everton nil, Wimbledon two, uh, three rather. Peter's got two today and an assist. This is more like it. There we, know. there we have it, Everton nil, Wimbledon three, two for Peter, an assist for him as well. Man of the match performance. If he does that more often, we've got ourselves a player. Whips it in, all the way through, and Imran Baltam's finally back on form. The 16th goal of the season, Wimbledon 1, Manchester United 0. If we can get through this, FA Cup semi-final. On overlap, that man is Mankia. We need a good cross now. Ball in. Peter's header, and it's 2-0 to Wimbledon against Manchester United. Alexander Peter now has 3-2, and, and looks to be finding himself a little bit more now. Just what we needed. Out wide for Mankio again. He's loving life down there. Salvi, ball across, surely. Pulls it in for Peter, and it's 3-0. Peter now has another brace. Back-to-back -back braces and back-to-back -back games. That's more like it from Alexander Peter. Well, there you go. 3-0 to Wimbledon. It really does baffle me how we can pull out results like this quite comfortably many times a season. Yet when it comes to those Champions League games, they just seem to be completely inept. It's the ball up. Goes through, slips it back for Masek. Oh, what a beautiful piece of football. Wimbledon 1, Newcastle 0. Mohamed Achibar playing in Sammy Farmer's role today for a change. What a bit of play that was. 1-0. If we get a cross in, it's not bad from there. No, Salvi ball in. 
Baltam, and it is going to be 2-0 to Wimbledon in round Baltam. 17 for the season. He's had a little bit spell out. He needs to get some form back again. Peter's through, and Peter makes it 3-0 to Wimbledon with his fifth goal in three matches. He's really stepping it up this month. It's great to finally see that from him. Ooh, Lopez Menezes. Watch out, guys. Great. Oh, what a great goal that is from Newcastle. Take nothing away from Lopez Menezes. We've got to be careful, though. There's still half an hour left here. Let's not screw this one up like we did before. Here we go. Wimbledon 3, Newcastle 1. Peter's having a lovely time of it lately. Really scoring the goals and... Uh, looking good for it. right guys we are back and uh yeah so as you would have just seen we've actually gone on a brilliant little run as you kind of we don't know we just seem to have this really good capability to go on these little runs pick up some good wins and we seem perfectly capable it just seems in europe we just shit the bed but next year we really are going to just concentrate all our eggs in the european basket and as long as you know i don't think we'll win the league next year but you never know i, I just won't be concentrating on it this year we're going to try and do uh the treble though with the league the league cup and hopefully the fa cup because we've got watford in the fa cup semi-final and as you can see watford are 17th in the league so we should be able to get to an FA Cup final where we'll play either Arsenal or Liverpool so there's a chance for us to win the FA Cup this year and I'm really looking forward to it I might let me know if you want to see me bring the giraffe suit back out again although I don't think you'll uh, actually never mind because um I'll have played it by the time you guys actually see this episode I think so it's Villa we've just got to go for it basically City I tell you what they're doing a bloody good job at sticking with us at the moment that's what I would say fair play to them on that one um we're gonna go full strength Gomez is out Achebar will come in because Makula is also out injured Peter uh, in those few games, he scored five goals in three matches. He's got two braces. He missed a penalty to complete a hat-trick. And he he's just been really, really good. He seems to have finally found a bit of quality. And that's it's about time, really. But I was just starting to get to the point where I was thinking maybe in the summer we should try and just invest our transfer budget in a solid strike, like a really top, the best I can physically get. And that may still do so. Um, because, frankly, defensively, we've conceded, what, 11 times or is it 10 uh in 29 matches now the most the least conceded ever was chelsea uh when they conceded i think it was 15 i just looked it up so i don't think we'll probably give it, i don't think we'll get that but we're still doing boy really really well in that and that, that's nice to see you know defensively i think we're pretty damn set we've only conceded you know we're conceding nearly a goal every three matches so that's pretty damn good to be honest guys so i feel like that's an area where although sometimes the ratings aren't so good the, the overall unit itself functions brilliantly and i'm, I'm really really pleased so defensively i think we're pretty set for the moment we've got good players there and a few more coming through as well so i think we're actually okay for that and to be honest if you want to complain about our defense then just look at the amount of goals we conceded that, that's all i can really say on that one um we're good at keeping clean sheets against and it's against big sides too when you think about it you know we beat chelsea 3-0 we beat arsenal 3-0 we beat man united 3-0 we beat we drew nil nil with manchester city we're keeping clean sheets against the big sides too stoke have scored twice against us this year and i think they're one of the few sides that have actually scored more than one time against us um because our two defeats well, 2-1 to Stoke and obviously 1-0 to Manchester City. So we're very, very good at... Con we've not conceded three in any game in the league so far at all this year. Farmer's back there for some reason. Um, Zissa was occupying his position, oddly. But there we go. So we're doing well. I want to see us win this one as well to take ourselves to 70 points after just 30 matches, which means there's another 20 uh, available, which could take us to a grand total of 94. So we can't better Chelsea's uh, total of 95 from the season they won it. Uh, but still, I feel like the title is there for us to win now that we've got like one less thing to concentrate on, which is a shame because I'd much rather be concentrating on it, to be honest, guys. But that's how it is. So Farmer to Peter. Can he slip it through for Salvi? Salvi's in. He must score. Peter this time with the assist. He has had an extraordinary month. We lead at Villa Park after the first minute and a half. And we're going back to the top again. Everybody else is getting left in our dust. Um, basically, that, that's just how it is. Chelsea is sort of still there, but not really. We'll be 11 points above them with this. It's basically a straight shootout between us and Manchester City. And the only, oh, I really wish we'd got that win against them at home. We really did screw the pooch on that one because we'd have been nine points above them if we'd have got that. And we probably could have rested some players. I don't know. Just one of those things. It's all if, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd probably still be in the Champions League. That's, that's the old proverb, isn't it? So... Let's just keep going. We've got a lot of possession here against Villa. We're a goal up. We're not really doing a great deal, though. Let's just see. Villa have done nothing. We've not really done a lot either. And in fact, I might just up the passing a little bit. We're going to try to go down that side anyway. Dro yeah, we'll just drop the tempo. We've got the lead, so it's not like we've got to force the issue a little bit. We can just play the ball around quite casually and see what happens for the rest of this one. Basically, we've got the lead. Villa have yet to offer a, a shot. Um... So, yeah, this one looks like it could be quite a short life contribution. Oh, hello. Atchbar. Our second goal would make me feel a lot more confident, particularly if Peter could get it. That would be what I really like. He's pulling deep there again, spinning off, goes past his man. He's in. P oh, yes, Peter. That is more like it. 
This is what I want to see from him. Why couldn't he do this all season? He seems to have finally clicked. I don't know whether there was a moment where Millington finally clicked for Portsmouth, but Peter just feels like he's just got that little extra now. I don't know how he ghosted through his player there, but he's getting assists. He's getting goals. He's got six goals in his last four matches. He's getting assists in that time as well. He's got a goal and an assist today. Somehow isn't man of the match so far material, but hey, that's fine. We're two nil up away at Villa Park. Masek again. I think Roman Masek is going to be player of the season. I mean, Premier League player of the season now because his rating overall is now the best in the league, even better than Mikola Doroš. Yeah, now we're looking very good down that way. Villa are Villa are clearly looking for the long ball, but at this point, we've got a two goal lead. I'm con quite content to drop the tempo a little bit lower and just say, "Go on then." have a go. If they do manage to get one over the top, then we might sit a little bit deeper. But fact is, for now, they've not even had a shot yet. So I'm content to... <laughs> and we nearly let them have a shot within the first 20 seconds of the second half. But hey, don't worry, I'm still pretty confident. We got a two goal lead. If it was 1-0, I'd be tempted to change things up a little bit. But Baltam, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's just keep on going. See if we can grab a third. I want to see what kind of goal difference we can achieve this season if we really push it. Uh, okay, we will make some changes soon though, because Fabio has had a bit of an off patch in terms of his, his goal scoring. Really, he got a couple in the final. Uh, he does seem to have a big game mentality. He really does. Like, you know, the hat-trick he got against PSG last season. He seems to really rise for those big matches, which is great. But he just can't seem to, like, motivate himself for these types of games, really, because he's just been pretty poor. Masek's had a solid game, but we're going to get him... Oh, shh. Hmm. I don't think... No, we might not be able to get him off, actually, because I don't... This is the problem with Gomez being suspended. This is not looking too good, so we'll get him off of Bonnie and... To be honest, I might just leave it at that for now. We're playing well. We're 2-0 up. We're creating chances. I might just tell them to uh, concentrate a little bit more. because we, I mean, We're on a low tempo, but we're still not getting a lot of shots on target. We're still sort of shooting from range. A little too much for my liking. Don't like that, no. Okay. Another clean sheet would be ideal. But as long as we get the win, that's what I'm really important. That's what I'm really placing my emphasis on right now. Oh, hello. Maybe there's a chance. 3-0 again would be just delightful because we're getting a lot of that lately. Oh, hello. Miguel. They'll hit it long, and it's just cut out brilliantly by Bonnie. That's good. That's what I want to see. I want him to be one of our starting centre-backs soon. Ideally, I want it to be uh, Cabrera and Bonnie. At one point. Oh, yes. Imran. And Inran. Imran, and he's made it 3-0 to Wimbledon with his 18th goal of the season. I think he can better 20 than he got last year now. Um, if he's scoring pretty much every other game lately now. Manquillo with another one. And that's another one of the reasons why I love Manquillo. He just does that so often. Baltam in there and we're 3-0 up at Villa Park and we're just cruising towards another solid league victory. We're just so composed in these games, which is beautiful. It's what I like to see. Sowie, surely there's not more goals in there. We've not really hit any fives or anything, like not huge results so far. This We had a 4-0 against Leicester, but no, like, you know, we got five against Middlesbrough last season. Sowie, byline, ball in, Baltam again. Oh, <laughs> Imran's having a lovely day. It's 19th goal of the season for him and we are going to win at 4-0 at Villa Park and Villa aren't even doing... Oh, they're 15th in the league. They're not that bad though. Uh, but then I remember when they had that horrific um, season where they conceded like 80 goals and came like 12th. What about that from Baltam? Getting up ahead of both of them and scoring again. He's good in the air as well. He's just the perfect... He reminds me of Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm serious. He... Something about him, that and the fact that his main role is actually a round deuter. And I wonder if... Trying the round deuter again at some point would be an interesting thing to do. I, I don't know. Farmer again. Maybe there's a hat trick in it for Baltam. You never know. Salvi to the, the right hand side. Whips it in. Baltam's in there. Peter van den Heuvel. Baltam on the rebound again. And it should have really been another goal for Peter. Those are the sort of situations I wish he'd just nick the goal. Just get it. Just get another one to add to your tally. You're never going to get a better chance than those sort of goals. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be another 4 0 victory, which away from home, 4 0 is very, very solid. You know. Oh. Four goals, a clean sheet, another clean sheet. I think that's number 20 of the season for Galfrascoli. 20 clean sheets in 30 games is astonishingly good. Baltan wins man of the match because that's what he do. Masek gets a nine, of course. So, how, yeah, we've conceded 11 times this year. The nearest team is Chelsea who have conceded 20. I, I fail to see how this we can't end up winning the league this year. But Manchester City, I tell you what, they are scoring a lot of goals. And that's something we are going to get a few more goals. But, hey, still, very, very good. So, in the next episode, guys, we are going to be doing... Well, we're going to have two games left... Um, Two episodes left of the normal season plus hopefully if we get to their touch wood the fa cup final at the end of the season against watford which we'll do like we did last year that way we can split things up again properly um i'm very much looking forward to this uh, little run and i feel like we should be able to get enough points on the board over those games to wrap up the league title provided nothing goes horribly wrong and we don't get any dodgy injuries and i think there's a really good chance for us to do the treble this year which is progress you've got to look at it like that it is progress last year we won the title this year we can hopefully go and win three things and then next year we will be concentrating solely on the champions league because that's all that really matters so right let's that that was perfect timing city look at that five 
goals more for them. Um, but as you can see, Masek and Baltan, both the best players in the league. Bal Ma look at that average of 8.11. And Salvi's up there on the assist now, finally creeping into shot there, which is what we wanted to see. So ne next episode is going to be, uh, what's it going to be? Ooh. Should we just do it? Should we just do the Ipswich FA uh, the Ipswich, the Watford FA Cup semi-final? It's probably more interesting than the Ipswich game would be because that's their bottom, and it's a bit dull. I think we'll do the yeah, let's do the FA Cup semi-final. Why the hell not? And then the final game. Oh, it's an interesting running. Uh, the final game after that will be the Liverpool game, and then obviously if we get their FA Cup final. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like on the video, and if you'd like to even more than that, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your inbox every single day at seven o'clock and i'll join you guys in the next episode for an fa cup semi-final against watford can we reach our second fa cup final in as many years let me know what you think in the comments i'll see you guys soon thank you so much for watching Bye bye